Welcome back. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do this game. Oh, well this is going to be fun. Um, apparently I, some of my buttons aren't mapped correctly, so this could make the game interesting. Wait, I have the same button disabling the no next block. And rotating a piece. But also, my window does not fit in my window. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we're playing a game of No Rotate Tetris. Uh, we're gonna see how far we can get without rotating even a single piece. Not because we want to, but uh, because I don't have my buttons mapped correctly. <laughs> we're gonna attempt to build a single line. Oh, 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 we got a line! Alright. Um, I have to give up this line, and that line. Alright, this is not going great. Yeah, I really should consider mapping um, the buttons, so I'm able to play games other than No Rotate. Even so, this is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, we got a line. Sweet. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get another line. Nice. And a third line, and I think that's gonna be it. I don't foresee myself getting more lines than this. We can try, but it's not going to be easy, especially with that piece. Ah! And left and left and left! There we go, we got another line. Alright. Are we ready to map some buttons? Nice. <sighs> yeah, ironically, when it says drought, uh, for no rotate Tetris, uh, the eyepiece is probably the least favorite piece, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, let me fix my controller mapping. Uh, okay. Left, right, up, down. Button one. Heck if I know. Uh... Alright, we'll see whether or not this is any better. I suspect not, but... Hey, we can rotate! Alright, we'll take it. Uh... It's a bit troublesome that I cannot see everything, but... We can rotate one direction. My other rotate button's not working, so we're now playing a category of um, anti-clockwise rotation only. Nice. Alright. Uh, where does that even go? That was wrong. Wrong play by me. Stick one here. This is not the correct piece. Oh, we got a square. Here we go. That goes over here. This is over here. Uh, we get a triple. Triples are nice. Oh, yeah. So, about that next block, maybe I should actually look at what it is before, like, dropping a piece. Uh, crap. This is not what we needed. Alright, whatever. Cover the well. 
uncover the well. Now I wonder if I could ever access the other game type. I seem to be stuck on A type just for how I navigate the menu. Oh, also, if you want at home, go make your own sound effects while watching. What do 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 do? Oh, it does make that noise. It's just well, the music is a lot louder, and I don't know how to control the music volume. Um, there is some way to configure it, according to the developer, but I don't know what that way is. Oh, nice! Makes a little chime noise when, um, you level up. Okay, uh, this is dumb. I guess let's build a center well, because why not? What could possibly go wrong, other than everything? Okay, we got the other block. Oh, I wonder. Since this is open source, finally, assuming I can figure out how to build this uh, application, Finally, I could change some of the colors for certain levels to my own liking. That's something I'd never been able to do with the original game, even with the color modes that are super difficult to read. Huh. Well, we're gonna do that. Um, as soon as we can figure out how to build this thing. Uh, honestly, since this is open source, so many more things could be done with it. Like, you could add in some sort of training mode that teaches players uh, to anticipate certain things, I guess. I don't know. I just... somebody smarter and more adept at Tetris than I am would probably know what sorts of things are even worth training. Um... Oh my goodness! What is this? What is this sorcery? See this? Yeah, this. these colors are nice and bright. There's no problem seeing this color scheme. You could add colorblind options. Okay, there's one thing that could be added. Um, just because a game has been around forever doesn't mean that it should be inaccessible to some percentage of all possible players. Uh, quite the opposite. The more popular a game is, the more reason there is to um, make it accessible. Jeez, this... okay, well that works. It's a bit ugly. Man, I've actually got my game console, um, we'll say nearby. Uh, I've been meaning for a long, long time to hook it up, 
and see if I can get a capture card, etc., uh, working better with it. Um, and expected a ton of hassle getting stuff set up. Um, and the pro of doing it that way with the actual game console is you get the true no lag, no latency, authentic experience of playing the original game. Here, I'm dealing with a computer's, um, a, a computer attached to a monitor which has latency, uh, I forget exactly how much, but whatever it is, it greatly exceeds that of a CRT. Um, so yeah, that's the price I'm paying for doing it this way. Um, the benefit is the convenience of getting this thing set up. Um, And the ability to give myself line pieces whenever I want. No. <laughs> uh, it's open source, right? So, uh, yeah. Of course, no player would ever do such a thing. And you'd be found out if you did. But the notion that, like, you could build such a mod, uh, it's just funny. Uh, yes, let's go with that, honestly. Um, he has been on my mind for the last week, until just now, and now I remember, and there's actually meaning and purpose to what I'm doing now, so okay, yes. Uh, we'll say that I was smart enough to figure that out. But yes, uh, it was quite surprising, in fact, that he just suddenly is not there anymore. Um, he's been a really nice person, at least public-facing wise, but I see no reason to doubt that he'd be just as polite and courteous and every positive quality you can imagine. Uh, supportive is the word I'm looking for. Oh crap. Um, so yeah. Um, it's just really surprising that he's out. Huh. Well, I need to get better at this game. <laughs> I used to be decent at it. Alright, I give up. The latency here is a bit triggering. Um, it's not the game's fault, it's my hardware's fault. But also my... yeah, no. I was going to blame my other piece of hardware as the controller. The controller is decent, but yeah, you can actually feel the latency playing on a computer, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, also welcome. Uh, so I got one of my rotate buttons mapped. Um, what happened to the other one? I don't know. Here, let's just map each other button to B and A, respectively, until I get things mapped right. Um, let's see, edit buttons. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Bulk assignment. Left, right, up, down. Button one. Uh, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A. Okay, we're going to map every button to B or to A, and hopefully at least one of them will be mapped correctly. Um, can I get back? Well, fine, let's, let's have some fun. Oh crap. Did I? I activated level 25 somehow. Huh. Don't know how I did that. Uh, turns out level 25 is kind of challenging. Let's, let's pick a level 5. Okay. That's a little bit easier. Jeez. Okay, I can get my next block box back. Um, yeah, there's been 
uh, various people throughout the last week or two, um, in all giving their tribute in various ways. Uh, but uh, it's concerning in a way that, like, yeah, he's, he's gone, and people want to pay homage to him, but what's the right way to do it? It's in some way self-serving that if every time he, his name's mentioned, like, it's gonna draw viewers. So... How do you address that aspect? I don't know. But, um... Yeah, what's this? But somehow, yeah, the community will endure. He was one of the more insightful commentators of the game, too. Like, when you hear people live comment a game, I mean, there's only so much you can comment about. Because, um, ultimately, most of the scoring mechanic comes down to your ability to build a Tetris. Um, and... Uh, occasionally you have to dig yourself out of quite a mess. Um, and there can be some clever things you can do that I haven't figured out yet, but players seem excited that, like, oh, that was a really clever play. I don't quite get it, but um, for some of the really shorter sequences, it's easier to see what they're setting up. Um, for a longer sequence, who knows. Uh, I'm a little bit distracted because I've not played this game in a long, long time. Hey, we got another Tetris. Also, if you start at a higher starting level, um, the value of a Tetris increases level by level, so starting at a higher level will tend to increase your score overall without necessarily spiking the difficulty. Um, I always used to start around like level 5 or so, but that's when I had, um, I don't know, that's when the console was relatively new. Um, I was fortunate enough to have one. Uh, guess we'll build it, but it's not going to help my prospects here. Alright, I guess... <laughs> I mean, what do you even do with this? Uh, that's weird. Yuck. So you're supposed to leave open the two columns on the edge of the game board. Not just one column, but ideally you'd have two columns open. Until you're, like, really, really ready to start building the Tetris. Because otherwise, um, it becomes difficult to burn blocks that are harder to place. Alright, so I'm leaving open column 6. Uh, I don't have a choice, because my next block there was this L block. I had nowhere else to put it. So we're going to try to move the well back to the right side. Oh, this should work. Oh. I expected that to do this. That, there we go. Alright. Um, put a place for a square block in the center of the board. Uh, let's see. Okay, you're saying... Did I clone? Um, no, nah, so I actually downloaded a zipped executable. Or zip distribution. You can search Nestris, it'll direct you to uh, GitHub. Um, 
I forget how I first noticed that it was available on GitHub. No, somebody on Twitch had mentioned that this was a project that was in the middle of being built. Um, okay, this is just silly. Um, so, yeah, I thought, hey, that's cool, I'll go follow this project. And that way, whenever they do release, I'll know about it. Um, so this is an example of a burn where I'm using a piece, but um, it's not plugging the column. Uh, but yeah, but hey, so I can follow this and keep abreast of whenever they do their big 1.0 release that they just did a few hours ago. Um, I tried one way of building it, that didn't work. Um, so I'm curious what it takes to build. Okay, I'm gonna use the block over here. Oh gosh, really? Okay. Okay, we're gonna put this over here and hope for the best. Okay, we're gonna plug the column again and hope that that doesn't matter. Uh, that was dumb. Should move that over one. Um, this is fine. There we go. Starting to get back into it. Triple. Um. Nice. chance it. Damn, this is not going well. Uh, okay. This is not perfect. <laughs> We're gonna have a gap. We're gonna have another gap. Screw it. Gaps everywhere. Okay, we gotta plug these gaps. Forget about Tetris for a while. Um, he says as he gets that block. Uh, okay. This is not ideal. Okay, we'll plug this and flatten that. Crap, in order to stick that. Uh, whatever. You know, the other interesting thing about this game is that there's a really elegant proof that the game cannot go on forever, irregard or regardless of the line speed or the piece drop speed. Like, if you had a constant piece drop speed, there's still a proof that with completely random pieces, um, this game will terminate. Um, and the reason is, if you happen to get an infinite number of S or Z blocks, there's just nowhere to stick every single one of them. There's always some kind of gap whenever you're placing one of those. So no matter how good a player you are, you cannot play forever, even if the line or the piece drop speed were constant. Um, crap. Oh, just kidding. I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not thinking ahead enough. Whatever. Okay, squares can go over here. Okay, my other rotate button doesn't work. Probably I should have tested that a long time ago. Um, alright, whatever, this game is lost. There's no way for me to save this realistically. Um, whatever. Alright, so... Can I check something? 
uh, control panel, uh, hardware, where devices, device manager. Somewhere here, there's a thing for gamepad controller stuff. I want to check what all the buttons are on my controller. Um, maybe I should have just been using my keyboard. Just given how many times I've gotten this wrong so far. Uh, devices and printers. Yeah, let's use a printer to play the game. Um, hmm. Still not what I'm looking for. Um, oh, USB game controllers. There it is. Properties. All right. So that's button two. I have button two mapped to the letter B or A. Um, so is that the wrong letter to map this to? I guess we'll try just using the keyboard. A is toggle this. Z is nothing. Q W E R T Y U I O B. A S D F G H J K L. C C C V C V. All right, C and V are both the rotate keys. B and M. All right, whatever. I guess I could try. Yeah, let's map it live. All right, so. Whoops. Um. Yeah, what happens? Bulk assignment. Uh, button one. All right. C V C V C V C V C V. Now I have to question my sanity a bit. Um, okay, B right now is rotate clockwise. A is anti-clockwise. Wait. No, that's clockwise. Oh. Uh, I'm messing around with the buttons to see if I can get... Okay, my X and Y buttons are opposite. My A and B buttons are the same. Okay, I can't know from just that piece. I need another... So somehow my A button on this XYBA facing controller has opposite controls of the three other face buttons. <sighs> okay, um, we need to get the... Let's see. Uh, set up USB game controllers. Properties. X, one. Okay, B and A are buttons. B is two, A is one, X is three. So X and A are the odd buttons. Alright. So. That's so weird. X and A are mapped opposite each other somehow. Alright. X and Y are opposite. Uh, y and B are the same. I'm not sure how I mismapped this. Um, okay, we're going to try, we're going to see if that fixes anything. 
can't know from this, I can't know from that, can't know from... Here we go. X and A are opposite. B and A are opposite. Okay, so somehow I've managed it such that all pairs of adjacent buttons are opposite each other in terms of how they rotate. So that should help. Um, so now if I alternate between any pair of buttons, um, I'll get alternating rotations. Whether or not I set this up exactly backwards is the next test. Um, so... Yep. <laughs> uh, I set this up exactly backward. Um, that's exciting. Yes, yeah, so I want to remap my controller. Let's get that taken care of. Alright, bulk assignment. CV, VC, VC, VC. Okay, there we go. Let's try this game again. Alright, can I get B-type game? No. Can I get the B-type of game? How did I get navigated to that other menu? Oh, we're on level 24, guys. But hey, at least... Um, I think the button rotates the way I expect it to now. Maybe B-type game's not implemented yet. Oh, also I've got Turbo set on this controller accidentally. Uh... Uh... I forget how to clear this Turbo. I think I have to hit all the buttons, followed by hitting the turbo clear button. Whatever, we're stuck on A-type for now. Something is... Hopefully I can get the turbo fixed. Because that's, like, super distracting when it double rotates. Either that or, like, maybe it's not the controller after all. Maybe it's actually um, something between the controller and the game. Who's the composer of this traditional theme? I mean, it's... It's very... I don't know, poignant, I guess, but... I really need to figure out who's the composer of this one. And see what else they've done. Alright, try not to despair. Also try to be a little bit realistic that I can't Tetris every single time. And I did not leave a double wide well on either side, so burning blocks is much more challenging than otherwise. It's amazing for such, I don't know, repetitive tune. 
It's actually reasonably catchy. I don't have a good way to burn that. Maybe it's actually the hardware itself here, not the turbo button, but maybe my pressing of the button is double tapping it somehow. Maybe the controller itself is defective. Because I can sort of hear... I can't exactly feel it, but I can sort of hear something clicking. Um, and it clicks, makes a different noise when I don't press the button hard enough. So there could be some double clicking going on inside the controller. Which I don't know how to repair. Um, But yeah, I would hope that, as speedily as possible, this game enters the public domain. Um, for all sorts of reasons. If there's actually an excellent documentary on YouTube covering the history of this uh, Tetris, and how it was developed, how it crossed across international borders or boundaries um, multiple times, and ultimately found its way into the States. Um, oh god, what have I done? Here we go! We're building a new something over there. I have a place to stick my blocks. Alright, this isn't even a Tetris. I tried. Wait, can I slide this? Nice. Okay, we're gonna try using the other rotate button for a minute. Make sure that it still works. <laughs> Yuck. So we have what are called like J dependencies or L dependencies. This is not going well. Okay, we're gonna try to unblock column two. That's my only priority at the moment. Um, all right. Oh, I was about to stick this in column one, but now we finally got something to unblock the first column. This is going to go over here, believe it or not. We're going to temporarily block column two. Ah, uh, crap. This is going to go on the side. Um, this is not ideal. Alright, we're going to block the center again, just so I don't run out of places to stick my other pieces. Alright, stick this in column one. Open column one again. Open column five. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, we can't get a Tetris without multiple line pieces. Uh, this sucks. Alright. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Should do that sort of burn more often if it actually works. Hey, we made it to this level. Level 6. Alright, 
Yeah, this piece might be a bit too catchy. We might have to change it back after this one. Alright, we got another Tetris. That was exciting. Oh, but yeah, so... I was trying to think... We mentioned Jonas, we mentioned his ability to commentate. And we mentioned that I was not the great at his greatest at explaining just why his commentary was so insightful. Although his videos are everywhere. Oh, goodness. Uh, that line piece needed to go in the first column. That's the end of this game. Come on, line piece. Crap. Yeah, it's not going to get any easier from here. Would help if my controller actually functioned and I had no latency. Both of which are not the case. Ah! Alright. Well. Better luck next time. Um, so? How do I navigate this again? This is somehow more relaxing. If I'm starting on a higher level, um, that doesn't help, but this tune is just not quite as noisy. when I first, when we had this on the console and their family was playing it, um, I wonder, did I ever start above level 7? Doesn't seem that way looking at it now, but... Okay, yeah, this with the screen latency is painful. Um, Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of silly things you could do to make this game easier uh, if you're compiling from source now that I think about it. Um, but this could also make for a useful training tool in the right hand or in the hands of the right developer. Um, it could like simulate, I don't know. you did this play and you should have put the piece over here instead or give you the chance to back up and try things again, or... I don't know. Oh goodness, did I just pass up another Tetris? I'm just so flustered by the double rotation of some of these pieces with this controller. Ah, <sighs> alright. Ah! Well... Yeah, I think this might be time for me to transition to a different game. Um... I could play this offline anytime. Yeah, level 9 is not doing it for me. Well, I could transition back to level 7 or something. Let's try that. 
on this screen, this is less frustrating, even with my controller dilemma. And I still have not tried this on keyboard, though I don't want to lunge forward reaching for my keyboard. So... Goodness. Yeah, so many double rotations there. Uh, that's not great. That one's entirely my fault. Um... Man. I'd have to practice this game a lot more to set myself up better. I'm not accepting that I just got screwed over by the game, but maybe I did. Seems unlikely. So... Possibly next we might do some more Shogi Wars. Possibly... We might, we've got paired against some uh, very strong amateur Shogi player from uh, France, I think. Yeah. So gotta coordinate that match time somehow. Uh, but I don't think he's awake right now. Um, probably should be practicing or studying or something to prepare for that. Could take a look at some of his games. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, I mean, it wouldn't ultimately help me that much. At an amateur level, knowing your opponent's strategy isn't necessarily going to save you. Although, if he's got some sort of trap that he like plays on everyone, in that respect, it could maybe save me, but um, it's kind of like chess, where if your opponent isn't opting for a particular thing, you can't really force them into it. I can't rotate the pieces. That's very frustrating. Alright, um... Maybe I'll have to somehow fix the controller. Actually, I have other controllers. Why am I not trying them? I don't know. Because I wanted to do this for a brief while, and then I wanted to play some Shogi. That's what my plan was at the outset of this. I should probably stick to the plan, because um, this needs some more practice. Or at least needs me troubleshooting it. And I'm not in the mood to troubleshoot right now. So. Ah! Let's rotate that. Um. Whoops. Well, maybe that's for the best. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice if the pieces rotated when I hit the rotate button. That's... I mean, there is a form of this where you play without rotating pieces and you don't get very far. Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's a funny memory, isn't it? Um, yes, yeah, so, while Jonas had actually set up this emulator, um... He was playing some weird physics Tetris that um, it, he would rotate pieces and it would rotate them by some number of degrees at a time. And it would simulate the physics and if you got enough of a line filled in, it would score the line. And so I prompted him, um, okay, you got the world record in this weird, funky game. What's the world record in no rotate Tetris? And so there he's like, he actually just set the record. Yeah, let's play level 9 no rotate Tetris. In memory. Uh, 
That was a pretty funny thing to do. Um, although he was doing it where he could, like, carom? I don't know if that's the right word, but he could bounce the pieces off the walls and they would rotate. Um, this actually has been attempted on a traditional console before. Uh, I forget what the record is. But it's such a silly category. There is some manipulation. I th the record is like way higher than what I'm setting. But okay, let's try again. Better luck next time, they say. Oh, nice. We got this piece. Alright, we've already lost the first line. Oh my god. I've already lost the game. That is so funny. Because, like, you can't wedge a piece into the corner. Okay. Let's try again. Okay. I accidentally rotated the piece, but put it aligned back the same way. Alright, we got one line. This is not ideal. We got two lines. Three? Oh crap. I needed a box to go in the center there. Ah! Alright, we got three lines. Good enough for me. I guess we rotate, or we retire from Nestris for now. We'll pick it up after I bother to do some troubleshooting or when I'm in a mood to do it. But yeah. Um, at least that's one amusing thing he brought us, so we can carry that forward. There's not going to be any money or serious competition I'm aware of that's ever attached to no rotate Tetris, so. Uh, yeah, maybe that's the thing that I focus on with this game for now.